All right, so today I'm going to show you Rainbow Six Siege glitch. This glitch was working a few months ago until it got patched, but now it seems to work exactly the same, like it's just been unpatched. So the glitch is currently working again on all platforms. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in this video. So to do the glitch, all you need is a skin that you want to transfer into another weapon, and you want the weapon you want to transfer it onto to have no skin equipped. So for an example, I'm going to use the Bartley University camo on my org, so I have it on the org here, I'm going to equip it. So for example, if I want to transfer the Bartley University camo from the org onto the commando, I'd make sure the commando doesn't have a skin equipped. And obviously it doesn't have to be these two guns or IQ at all, it can be any two guns, any camo and any operator. The only downside is you can't transfer a skin from a primary weapon onto a secondary weapon at all. It has to be between primaries or just secondaries. So you can still transfer between pistol and pistol, but you can't transfer between primary and secondary. And as I said, it works with any camo and any operator, not just the one I'm going to show in this video. And this works in any game mode as well, you don't have to do it in a custom game, you can do it in a public match and everyone will see the camo as usual. But I'm going to show it in a custom game as an example. So I'm going to pause the timer to make it a little bit easier. So here you want to choose the operator you want to use as usual. So I'm going to pick IQ as an example. It doesn't have to be IQ. It doesn't have to be these specific guns or this specific skin. It can be anything. So obviously you'll pick the operator you want to choose. It could be any of them. So you can see here the org has the camo equipped. And the commando doesn't have a skin equipped at all. So there is no skin equipped. So the gun you're going to transfer the skin onto can't have a camo equipped already. Because the glitch will not work if it does. So it cannot have a skin equipped at all. So once again I've got the Barlow University camo on the org. And for the commando, I do not have it at all. So it's impossible for me to fake this. So all you want to do is you want to switch weapons so like that and you want to press the customize button, whatever button that may be on your platform, at the exact same time. So I'm going to press left on the D-pad for me on PS4 and I'm going to press X at the exact same time. It might take a few tries to get it to work, but it shouldn't take that long. So you can see the glitches work now, as I am hovering over the 552 commando, but I've brought the menu for the org. Usually the menu would match the one you're hovering over with, so the menu should say the commando and bring up the option for the commando, but it's bringing up the options for the org instead. And this way you can then transfer the skin, so it brings up the org's camos, so you can see I didn't have this before. And you'd equip the one you're going to transfer, so this one. And now I have it for both weapons. And just to prove that this is glitched and it's not actually just another camo that I've unlocked, if you go back onto the commando skins, it's not actually there for it to equip. And then I could transfer a skin from the Commando onto the G8, but I've only got the black camo for the Commando, so I can't really transfer it across because I've got that universal camo. And this works for the secondaries as well. If you have two pistols or two shotguns for the secondary, you can then transfer skins across. So as another example, I'm going to use Twitch, and I'm going to transfer the Royal skin from this gun onto the F2. So for the F2, I do not have the Royal skin at all. As you can see here, I do not have it. Yet yeah, for the 417, I do. I'm going to transfer it across now, so you just press left and customise at the same time. And there you see it's worked. So I can now quit the Royal skin for the F2. And I have it on both guns. And if I want to, I can transfer it into the shotgun as well, so I just right and customise. Take a few tries. And I can equip it as well. So now I have Royal for all three guns for Twitch when I only had it for one in the first place. But I'm going to use the F2 as the example to show. Obviously you won't be able to pause the timer in a public match, you'll have to get the timing down quite well. But it'll only take a few tries maximum to get this to work, it's really not that hard. And here you can see I'm in the game with the F2 with the Royal skin. And now the skin acts as normal, everyone else can see it, you'll have the skin for the entire game. The only downside to this is you do not keep the skin after the game has ended, so after the game is finished, you won't have this skin in the F2's inventory, for example. Obviously, it doesn't have to be the F2 or the Royal skin, it could be any skin on any gun. But it really doesn't matter because you can get it back in the next game in about 2 seconds, so it really doesn't make that much of a difference. And it does work with any skin, so you transfer really rare skins from different guns, or such as Black Ice. So if you've ever got Black Ice for a gun and you want it on the other one, now you can do that. And you can do that without buying alpha packs as well. But yeah, that's pretty much the glitch. It works with any gun, any operator, any skin whatsoever on any platform. You can do this now. It's been completely unpatched for whatever reason. I'm not quite sure why. Because it was patched a few months ago, but now it's working again. So make the most of it whilst it's working. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Comment if it worked or if you need help with this. Subscribe to my channel for more glitches like this one. And yeah, peace.